Hey, all my movie maniacs, Mark the Movie Man here. It is the final cut, and I've got a, another batch of reviews for you this week. Uh, been a little slow lately, I know, uh, but I got some great stuff for you on deck today. Now, the first review I've got for you today is going to be Nina Forever. Now, Nina Forever tells us the story of Rob, who loses his girlfriend Nina in a car accident, and after an unsuccessful attempt at suicide, he takes this uh, job at a grocery store where he meets Holly and the two start developing feelings for each other and Holly really wants uh, Rob to be his, her boyfriend and so they start a relationship and well <laughs> there's just a bit of a kink in their relationship in that anytime they start to get sexually active and intimate with each other Nina shows up in a bloody mess with a nasty sarcastic wit and uh, she's just a uh, something that they cannot get rid of no matter how hard they try and we see how they try to cope with the this uh, wrench in their relationship and see how that affects them as they move along. Uh, the Ben Blaine and Chris Blaine, this is their first feature, and let me tell you, I love this metaphor of, uh, you know, being able or not being able to let go of a loved one that you lost, especially a person who is very young, in a very young love, and how that can affect you, and that's what Nina Forever really is, is this very large metaphor about letting go, about, uh, you know, transition, about not letting go, about how your feelings can transfer to a another person and how that person adapts to uh you know, changes themselves in order to try to be with the person that they truly love. And I love all of that in here. Now, Nina is played by Fiona O'Shaughnessy, and I loved her wit. She had some great moments in here, some really great lines in here. And man, it's just disturbing that when Rob and Holly start getting intimate, her bloody self just appears and comes up from the sheets or just appears in there. And she's just got this evil uh, smile and this look in her eyes that you know she's just there and she's not liking this situation at all and I, I really enjoyed her character quite a bit. Then you have the Holly character in here played by Abigail Harding Hardingham and uh, yeah wow she's a dark character as well she's really got some things going on under the surface that are revealed as this film goes along and it's interesting to see how she copes with uh, this Nina appearing every time she wants to be intimate with Rob and how that affects her and, and especially near the end of the film I it was interesting to see how uh, uh, things changed for her and how she's suddenly more impacted by the presence of Nina than Rob and loved that uh, growth and that arc that they do with her character and then Rob played uh, by uh, Kean Barry uh, I loved him as well, this guy who's torn with not being able to let go, and you can tell he just misses Nina so much, but yet he also wants things to do with how he's got that torn feelings, and that's in here as well, and I just, man, this film is dark, okay, there's not a lot of action going on, but it is quirky, it is dark, and it is a physical metaphor, such a direct physical metaphor for uh, loss and letting go that I highly recommend it to anyone who is in, who enjoys independent cinema, who enjoys these indie horror films that are quirky, that are different. This one definitely is that. Uh, there are some humorous moments in here, but things get pretty dark and kind of twisted, especially near the end, uh, a particular teen, a scene involving a, a a print press. Uh, so there's a lot of things going on underneath and a lot of things that if you watch with someone else, I'm sure you could talk about afterwards about their meaning and the metaphor and visuals and what exactly is going on in Nina forever. So highly recommend it for those looking for something different in their indie horror films. Again, this is a lot of drama in here as well. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it and it surprised me quite a bit how much I got into these characters. And if nothing else, just for Nina, Nina's uh, appearance, but everyone else does good in here as well. So check it out. A very creative script. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, we're so close to 100 subscribers and hoping to hit that by July, our 10th anniversary. Thank you everyone for your support. And until always, keep that ticket stub.